So if you want to personally grow in the solar photovoltaic industry as a business owner, as an engineer or a technology consultant, then the data which I'm going to share with you today in this video might change your future plans. So stay with me and watch the video till the end. Why the market needs to shift towards sustainable maintenance of solar PV assets. We need to understand that in order to produce useful AC power using the photovoltaic silicon cell, what we are trying to capture here is the solar radiation, which will be abundantly available on our planet Earth for the next billion years to come. But in order to achieve the maximum output yield from the solar power plant, we are exploiting several other natural resources, which is very limited as we live on a planet of finite resources. 98% of the distributed solar plants installed, especially in the industrial area, are using fresh water to clean photovoltaic module at regular interval in order to achieve high generation. Fresh water is a very vital resource for the survival of not only our population, but for every species living on this planet. Very few people are aware of the fact that water required for solar photovoltaic module cleaning should be of good quality as hard or chemically treated contaminated water can cause deformation and damage to the glass of PV module causing product warranty issues and efficiency damage. Let's compare the fresh water consumption between a 1 megawatt solar power plant versus the drinking water requirement of a family of 5% for the whole year. Now a 1 megawatt plant roughly has around 2800 PV modules and during single cleaning each module consumes 1.5 liters of fresh water. Now in order to get the best power output from a 1 megawatt plant in Indian soiling condition it needs two cleaning cycle in a month that is going to be 24 cleaning cycles in an year. As per this data, the fresh water required only for cleaning the dust in a 1 megawatt plant throughout the year is going to be 1 lakh 800 liters of fresh water. Now a single adult on an average consumes 2.5 liters of drinking water in a day. Considering a family of 5 adults, the consumption of drinking water for an year is around 4562.5 liters. So as per the maths, the consumption of fresh water in a 1 megawatt solar power plant in an year only to clean the dust is equivalent to fulfilling 22 years of drinking water requirements for a family of 5%. So just now, the above data shows you the consumption of fresh water in a 1 megawatt plant used for PV module cleaning. Just imagine, this was just 1 megawatt plant only. India has enhanced its ambition to install 450 gigawatt of renewable energy, mostly from solar photovoltaic capacity by 2030. The quantum of fresh water wastage because of this is going unnoticed because you guys are sitting at home in an air conditioned room, planning of installing a new air conditioner in the next room, thinking that big solar plants will save the world. And now we don't need coal plants. So this is not the case guys. I work and live inside a very big solar power plant and I'm watching this water wastage on a daily basis and I'm really scared to even imagine the upcoming future. India has 16% of the world's population but the country possesses only 4% of the world's fresh water resources. India is water stressed due to changing weather patterns and repeated droughts. As many as 256 out of 700 districts in India have reported critical or over-exploited groundwater levels according to the most recent Central Ground Water Board data. This means that getting water in these places have grown more difficult as the water table has dropped. Three-fourths of India's rural family lack access to pipe, drinkable water and must rely on unsafe resources. Now the overarching goal of solar PV plant preventive maintenance is to ensure maximum yield, system uptime and achieving maximum efficiency of solar array by regular cleaning of photovoltaic modules, maintaining the system on a regular basis so that it stays in better working condition, ensuring potential malfunctions are effectively managed. Properly functioning solar arrays contribute consistent financial value to their owners. If a technical issue arises, a portion of that value is lost. Hence, by investing in a preventive maintenance or solar O&M program, a solar array owner protects his or her investment, ensuring optimal system output and therefore achieving financial benefits. 
So the overall understanding is that nobody wants to save the planet. At the end of the day, everyone is just doing business and we are exploiting the limited natural resources as if we have a second planet for our family and next generation which will migrate after 20 years. How foolish and greedy we can be. Major chunk of solar PV plant maintenance is the regular module cleaning. An operational solar plant in a single month in Indian soiling condition can lose its 30% of generation if it's not cleaned twice in a month. 98% of the distributed solar plants installed especially in the industrial area simply discard this cleaning water and there is no technical standard or government guidelines to monitor this wastage. Hence the wastage is taking place on a massive level not just in our country but around the world. Sustainable energy needs sustainable solution. And that's where dry cleaning of solar PV comes into action, especially for solar PV plants cleaning process using battery power handheld brush or cleaning robots. A similar power production yield can be achieved without wasting a single drop of water. As a solar photovoltaic operation and maintenance service provider, using dry cleaning equipments, we were able to optimize multiple parameters and resources required during photovoltaic module cleaning on a commercial scale. Cleaning solar panels on a commercial scale using fresh water consumes more time as the process of wet cleaning requires three steps. Step number one, manually scrubbing the PV panels with dry brush followed by step number two, splashing water over the same module to loosen the dust and bird drops. Step number three, then a wet mop is scrubbed along with splashes with water to get rid of the soiling. Whereas in case of dry cleaning, the cleaning equipment require only one stroke in a single step to knock away the layer of dust formed over the PV panel. Hence, a single person can dry clean more PV modules as compared to wet cleaning process. This not only makes the process time effective, but also cost effective as completing the same quantum of work requires less manpower in less time. In most of the rooftop installation, the PV module tables are fixed in shadow-free area as per the roof architecture. The roof can be in different height or multiple blocks and automating the process with cleaning robots are quite costly and risky as there is a high chance of the robot may fall from the building or through the skylight during the course of its operation due to a slip or derailment caused by the mounting wheel rail misalignment or strong winds hitting the robot. Hence, handheld battery power dry cleaning rotor brush has become the first choice of solar power plant maintenance service provider in the current market. There is one more benefit for the asset owners. Mostly the commercial solar rooftop installation on a factory roof causes multiple roof damages which causes multiple water leakage and roof metallic sheet rusting during wet cleaning of solar PV panels. But completely switching to dry cleaning bypasses all the above issues because you are not using water. The dry cleaning of solar photovoltaic panel is a perfect process and the need of the hour in the present market to save water, manpower cost and roof maintenance costs, making the process sustainable. So if you are new to the solar industry and you don't know this, then you are losing your clients, your revenue and your plant performance. Having the knowledge of solar PV plant data analytics will allow you to find the root cause of underperformance during daily plant operation. Installing a solar plant is an incomplete success if it is not giving out proper output because if there is a reduction in the power production, then your investment in the solar power plant is just slipping out of your hand. So if you are looking for a promising future in the solar energy sector but you haven't seen my YouTube channel, then consider subscribing it as I am sharing my golden experience and tips and tricks to master this technology like a true professional. In this amazing course, you will learn the skill to analyze the data with respect to the operational solar plant components to bypass any kind of underperformance and get the best out of it. This course is absolutely important for engineers, business owners, consultants who are already working or want to work in the solar energy photovoltaic sector. Trust me, without this highly demanding skill, your journey to success in this industry is incomplete.